Right, we're still talking about the weather today because we want to go back to all that cleanup effort from this massive nor'easter. Utility companies from all across the area working around the clock right now to restore power outages caused from that storm. Yeah, and for the latest on their efforts, we want to bring in Christopher McKinnon from Eversource. He joins us now live via Zoom. Thanks so much for joining us this afternoon. Absolutely. Very happy to be here and uh, thanks for having me. Yeah. So where are you seeing the hardest hit areas for your company? What's the latest in southeastern Mass? Yeah, so southeastern Mass was really hit hard by this nor'easter. So we're talking everywhere from the south shore of Massachusetts to the south coast of Massachusetts, Cape Cod and Martha's Vineyard. And, um, you know, right now we are looking at about 255,000 customers in our state still without power right now. We've been able to restore about 129,000 customers throughout the day um, as some of the um, weather has subsided in other parts of Massachusetts. But as you still look at the south coast there, they're still experiencing some of those high wind gusts this afternoon and they're anticipating them to stay on throughout the evening and that's hindering our ability to get our crews up in those bucket trucks and actually start making restoration efforts. When your crews are faced with the kind of the lingering winds that prevents them from getting up in the bucket trucks, is there other work they're able to do or is it really kind of a sit and just wait for this to pass situation? Yeah, Brian, so um, our crews on the ground are constantly working and they're um, in touch with our local municipalities as well. So what they're doing is helping to remove any debris that you see on the ground as far as down trees, branches, anything else that might be making some roads impassable so that as soon as those winds do start to subside, those roads are open and ready to go so that our trucks can just roll through and start that restoration process as quickly as safely possible for our customers. In terms of a timeline, I know the big question that people have is when do my lights come back on? So can you walk us through, do you think most people will be back online tonight? Is this going to be a multi-day restoration? So it's a little bit hard to tell depending on exactly where um, our customers are located. So we've seen some people coming back online. Uh, we do have some technology such as smart switches, which allow us to kind of reroute power to certain areas if it's safe to do so. Um, but we are asking our customers to be prepared for the potential of a multi-day event. Um, our CEO, Joe Nolan, was with the governor, Charlie Baker, a little bit earlier this afternoon talking about that. Uh, but this is going to be a totally ramp up response here. We've got more than uh, 500 crews already on the ground and we're expecting to have about 1500 crews uh, working on this restoration effort by the time this is all said and done. Sounds good. Thank you so much for that live update. Christopher McKinnon from Eversource, we appreciate your time on a very busy day. Thank you both.